In this tutorial, we will learn how to import a drawing from a DXF file into BISCO. We first would convert the drawing from a DXF file to a bitmap, and then load this bitmap into BISCO to perform the analysis. Corresponding files related to this exercise can be downloaded from the link mentioned in the description. For this example, we choose AutoCAD to generate the drawing. Each of the closed polylines must be loaded into a different layer, named after the material. It's important for the polyline to be closed to be rasterized as a bitmap in BISCO. You can convert the line segment drawing into a closed polyline by choosing the boundary command in AutoCAD, which would automatically generate polyline in the closed boundary. You can make a small square to represent boundary conditions, later we will see how to process this as a boundary condition. When the cavity is exposed to the boundary conditions, if the opening is less than 2 mm, then BISCO automatically considers it as two different volumes. If it's more than 2 mm then you need to draw a line to separate the cavity to the boundary conditions. All these lines are drawn under the layer name line. From the file menu, choose Open DXF. Then your BISCO application will be on hold, and the BISCO DXF application will open. Choose the DXF file from the location. Now from the DXF layers window, you can select specific layers which you would not like to import. In our case we wanted to import all layers, hence we did not select any. Upon clicking OK, the DXF drawing is imported in BISCO DXF. Now at the layers window, you see the list of layers imported and if you select any layer, the corresponding layer geometry gets highlighted at the DXF window. If it's a closed polyline we do not get any warning, but if it's an open polyline we get a warning message by highlighting the endpoints of the line in orange. We will input color which defines the properties of material or boundary conditions. We will learn more about various color types and color database in the next videos. For now, you can enter the values as follows. 60 for EPDM, 8 for aluminium, 44 for polyamide, 151 for insulation, 18 for glass, 85 for the spacer, 174 for interior boundary condition, 170 for exterior boundary condition, 0 for line. The fill mode defines the style to fill the geometry. You can change from one mode to another by double-clicking on the current mode. Let the fill mode for all layers be fill contour for now and click calculate bitmap. You notice a bitmap being generated. Fill contour will rasterize by filling with color inside the geometry. Now change the fill mode for the line layers to lines mode, so just a line will be generated at bitmap. For the interior and exterior boundary conditions, change the fill mode to flood fill and now calculate bitmap. Every time you make some changes or click on a layer, you would need to rasterize the bitmap again. You now notice internal and external boundary conditions being generated. Flood fill not only rasterizes with color inside the shape, but also fills outside the shape till the adjacent colored surfaces. Hence for external and internal environments, we create a simple small square, and at fill mode, we choose flood fill. At the DXF file we generally do not create a layer for cavities, this is directly done at BISCO. We will see how it's done later in the next videos. The layer order is important as it corresponds to the principle of superposition, with higher priority towards the bottom. You notice that boundary conditions have filled adjoining cavities, as the line layer had higher priority, and was not processed before rastering boundary condition. Hence, we need to move the line layer on top over the boundary conditions reducing its priority, so it can be read before boundary conditions. We can adjust the order of layers by the arrow icon on the top toolbar. In the case of overlapping geometries, layers of higher priority would eliminate the geometry of lower priority in the region of overlap. Here insulation layer has higher priority over the EPDM layer. Hence insulation eliminates EPDM over the area of overlap. This is visible when you calculate the bitmap again. Alternatively, you can also import a DXF layer with a layer named with a prefix of color number, followed by a prefix of fill mode, 1 for fill contour, 2 for flood fill, 0 for line, and then followed by layer name. If the DXF drawing is named in this format, it can automatically detect fill mode and color properties for each layer. Now you can click on set bitmap size and resolution, 
Here the pixel resolution is 0.1 by default. The loaded DXF drawing is in millimeter and the pixel resolution is 0.1, which means each pixel is one-tenth of a millimeter. Suppose we change this to 0.5 and click on Calculate System. We observe that the bitmap is coarser as each pixel is 0.5 millimeters. We will switch back the pixel resolution to 0.1 millimeters and then click on Calculate Bitmap. Now you can save the bitmap by clicking the Save icon on the top toolbar. Upon saving the bitmap, which is saved as a BMP file, we also get a LAY file. When any other DXF file must be rasterized into a bitmap, the same layer definitions can be loaded from the Layers menu, choose Load Layer Definition, and now you can choose the previously saved LAY file. It would save time by automatically filling layers with fill mode and color along with the priority. You can also make the current layer definition as the default layer definition stored in your app data as bisco dxf.lay. So, for any new file in future you would like to convert from DXF to bitmap, layer definition would automatically be added corresponding to that layer name. Now you can close the bisco DXF and then bisco automatically detects the bitmap. Here are a few options to adjust pixels and bitmap. Select the color you want to apply and using the rectangle tool, you can add that color. Similarly, you can draw a line. Also, you can connect pixels by first clicking on a point, then holding shift and clicking on the second point. In this method we can draw a small triangle and using the fill tool we can fill in color. These are some basic tools to adjust the file but are not designed to draw geometry, now choose the previously applied color and fill the patches made and clear them. If you have several DXF files prepared for analysis, from the file menu you choose DXF Batch Calculation. Here if you have your layer named as per the prefix mentioned before or if the layer name corresponds to the layer database, then all the DXF can be automatically processed to generate bitmap files without even opening BISCO DXF window, these bitmaps can later be loaded to BISCO. In the next videos we will start with a new one to explore in detail about various settings at the colors window and learn to calculate U-value using BISCO. Thank you for watching see you in the next video.